got a second NMR exam question for you to try. So there it is there. So you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we'll go through the answers now. As you can see I've highlighted the two carboxylic acids and I've also drawn them up in the relevant colours. So it's infrared spectroscopy that allows you to identify them from the esters and that's because of the presence of the OH bond in the molecules. So esters also contain this C double bond O, so they will, as well as carboxylic acids, show an absorption between 1630 and 1820 centimetres to minus one due to the C double bond O. I'll write all this up in a second, we'll just talk through it now. But only the carboxylic acids will show the um, broad absorption uh, due to the OH bond um, between two and a half thousand and three thousand three hundred centimetres to minus one. Okay, so now we've identified the carboxylic acids, how do we distinguish between them? So we can use the carbon 13 NMR to do that, and that's all down to the number of carbon environments in the molecules because they have different numbers of carbon environments. So if we go to the pink one, the left hand one first, so we've got a unique carbon environment there, so one. These methyl groups off that carbon, these are all equivalent to each other, so that's a second environment, and there's a third environment. So this pink carboxylic acid has three carbon environments. Moving on to the orange carboxylic acid, so we've got a carbon environment there, so one, these are equivalent, so two, that's unique, so three, that's unique, so four. So this one has four carbon environments, whereas the pink one only had three. And obviously because of that, you would see three peaks in the carbon-13 NMR spectrum for the pink one, but you'd see four peaks for the orange one. 